Creator Quant family, we are finally back at it with Higgsfield.ai. Again, Higgsfield.ai. Today we have Face Swap, your favorite portrait now with your face. Bam. This is Higgsfield AI's newest creation. They have Sora 2, they have Google VLV3, they have WAN 2.5, and now we're using Face Swap. Let's just jump right into it. And bam, here we have it. This is our Face Swap. Um, you guys let me know if this looks like Creator Qualm. I don't think it looks like me. Uh, I can see it a little bit, honestly. A little bit, man. Uh, a little bit, but this is Creator Qualm doing the Kobe Bryant pose. You guys let me know what you guys think. But we did a different one, man, in front of our dream car, Porsche 911 GC3 RS. You can call me a TikTok kid, bro. It's just a monster car, bro. Four, four liter flat six engine. Um, it's either this or I do like the C8 Z06, absolutely nuts. And honestly, probably a little bit better performing if we talk about performance. But yeah, this or the Z06, um, my face is very blurry, very blurry face, but that's supposed to be creator qualm. Um, you guys let me know if that looks like me. Um, I guess I'm chopped, but hey, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, GT3 RS, whoo, absolute monster car, bro. You can't get much better than this. Let's do one more with creator qualm. Bam. And this one, this video, this photo is actually AI generated, which how ironic is that, guys? Um, I wanted a picture of a C8 Corvette, but since it's such a new vehicle, it's kind of hard to find a good quality picture. So we're just going to use this photo. And let's switch up the image of me. Find a more flattering photo. <laughs> we have our Lamborghini. This looks like an Aventador. Um, definitely not a Lamborghini fan, bro. I'd much rather have a C8 Z06, but that's just me. I'd much rather have a C8 or a Porsche 911. I don't know why people pay half a million dollars for a Lambo when it gets gapped by GTRs and you know, Supras. It, it gets gapped. I mean, we be seeing the videos on YouTube. It gets gapped. Oh, Creator Qualm family. Um, this is supposed to be us. It did swap the skin tone, which is absolutely nice. But uh, you guys let me know in the comments. Does this look like me? Does this look like Creator Qualm? That's what they're saying. They're saying it look like me. Looking at some of the logistics of Higgsville AI face swap, it says consistency across all styles. Our AI tool is engineered for consistency. Generate anything from photorealistic portraits to artistic styles to animations and digital art while perfectly preserving the source face. Um, this is the source face. This is her in different settings. So absolutely amazing. I like this. I like this a lot. The new standard in AI face swap. They have high, out high resolution output, cross style swapping, lightning fast generation and easy export for animation. So once you export these, we can animate them, which is something that we're gonna tap into towards the end of the video. So keep looking in. Join professionals and creators who use our platform to create stunning high quality results for their projects. So man, I will leave the description to Higgsfield AI in this video. So please tap in. Our last face swap was us, um, Creator Qualm on a roller coaster. So does this look like Creator Qualm? This one does look kind of good. Uh, I don't like the hair though. I don't like that they did not swap our hair, but hey, this does look like Creator Qualm. So shout out to Higgsfield AI for that one. Let's try one more face swap. All right, so this time we have a meme, real funny meme, how I wanted to end the year and how I actually ended the year. If you guys don't know, Creator Qualm is on his fitness journey, but I will be honest, I do kind of look like the person on the right a little bit more than the left. So the left is what we try to get to on our fitness journey. That's why we on our journey. But let's see if it can recognize that there are two separate photos and then swap our face for both photos. Let's see just how smart Hicksfield AI's face swap is. All right, so Higgsville AI unfortunately did not swap both of the images. Um, how I wanted to end the year, looks like they made the person African-American like Creator Qualm. I think it kind of does look like me a little bit. So W, so W Higgsville AI on that one, but it did not change the how I actually ended the year to look like me. So it looks like only one face at a time for Higgsville AI face swap. So last but not least, man, we have this ripped guy and we want him to be this to be me lifting weights. So this is how Creator Qualm family is gonna look in 2026. That's how we gonna look, guys. We are gonna end our fitness journey on a bang. We gonna look like this guy. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate this video after this. So we want to get our face swap generation and then animate that video. And let's talk a little bit about why this is so important, man. Think about the implications of this is if you're trying to make an ad and you don't really have the ability to pay a trainer to market your product, you can just use Higgsville AI face swap to show you that you're not using copywritten material. And then you can use that image to generate your video. So 
being in the implications, we actually have seen Sora 2 with TikTok edits. You, you can literally make an ad for an item. They literally have a template for advertisements. So absolutely sick. Um, Hicksville AI is just laying the method out, man. All we have to do is use it. And this is creator qualm. As you can see, this is us. We look ripped. It's how we gonna look at the end of 2026, bro. Give me, give me 12 more months, man. We gonna look like that guy. We gonna look like this guy. But this is us. And I wanna download it. Let's jump over to, let's use Google VLV3. So just like that guys, we jumped over to the Google VLV3 and we generated our videos for the first prompt. We have a man is selling a training, fitness training course and encourages people to subscribe to his YouTube channel, Creator Quam. Let's see. Are you ready to transform? Join the course today and make sure you hit that subscribe button for Creator K Wong right now. Yeah. So, not that man, it's creator k -Wom. I don't know who that is, but hey, it is a Ghanaian name, so I will give Hicksville AI and VOV3 a little pass for that one. Um, it would be bad if my name was Josh and it said creator Josh. you know, that would be bad, but k -Wom, that's fine. Um, but yeah, that was absolutely perfect for just an eight second video. This is the ending frame, not too great, but let's see what, does that look like creator Quam? Not really in my opinion, but can't really complain too much. The second one has no video. The second one has no audio because we just used regular Hicksfield um, video generation. So I just say like, yeah, creator qualm. Okay, okay, you see all the people. Oh, this looks like just women. I don't know why it's just ladies clapping for me. Um, I didn't ask for all that, but I'll take it. I I'll take it, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. No crowd clapping for me, but that's good. And then our fourth generation. You're watching Creator Quam, the number one right. source for AI tools. Don't forget Let's to go. hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the latest tech. Let's go. It got my name completely right. Let's go, VLV3, VL3.1. Let's go, baby. Ah, and just like that, guys, that is our video, man. What do you guys think about Higgsfield AI face swap plus Google VOV3, man. Is this an absolutely unstoppable tandem? You guys let me know. Higgsfield AI's face swap is here. And without further ado, guys, we are out of here. Please make sure you all like, comment, and subscribe. I will leave the link to Higgsfield AI in the description so you guys can check it out and swap your face on whatever you may please. Without further ado, thank you all. Stay blessed, stay healthy, stay stress-free. And make sure we are taking over AI, man. AI will not take us over. We are taking it over. We will be using every single AI tool that we can on this channel. And we'll be going up. Without further ado, I'm out of here. CEO of ChatGPT OpenAI. So, man, I'm looking at the support line at the front end, back end, and full stack. This wouldn't be $7,136,000. Mm -hmm. Open AI. So man, I'm looking at the support line at this front end, back end, and full stack. This wouldn't be seven million one hundred and thirty-six thousand dollars.